Nice to meet you guys. It's a pleasure. And the pleasure um, is ours. <laughs> thank you. And to start off, I'd want to ask you, um, how, like, what was the difference between working with this movie and like previous movies you've worked on before? Well, um, I think the big difference was this is a story about brothers learning to love one another and learning the value of family. And as a mother, it was it was very relatable to where I am personally in my life. And so. Um, you know, I, I, I enjoyed working on the film and was invested emotionally for my kids. So I think that was the, really the big difference for me. You know, I've worked on a lot of movies, but this one was emotionally resonant for me. I'd say the same. I watched the movie twice already. Oh, you uh -huh. did? Yeah, I watched it in the Boca Raton screening and then yesterday at the Mammy Film Festival. Oh, great. Yeah, I, I saw you guys. I thought I saw you there. Yeah, I saw yeah. you guys there. Okay. And um, I have two brothers, so like seeing them, like they grew up very like close in age. So like I saw like the whole resemblance, like, oh my god, they hate each other, but they love each other. Were you the youngest? <laughs> yeah, I'm the, I'm the baby. <laughs> yeah, so you're the boss baby. That's the way I was. I was the boss baby. My brother's two years older, and we used to torture each other. We were very competitive. But as we became adults, you know, we're best friends. Yeah. And so that's our story, and we were able to put that in the movie as well. That's awesome. Um, also, like, for both of you, like, what do you think is, was the biggest challenge, like, when it comes to working with animations? Well, you know, uh, you know having a great cast like Alec Baldwin, Lisa Kudrow, Amazing. Jimmy Kimmel, uh, Toby McGuire, Steve Buscemi, you know, part of the challenge for us is we get so much comedy out of them and, and so much great material, but we have to squeeze it into an 85-minute movie. So there's a lot of great material that we, we, we weren't able to put in the movie. It'll be on the DVD yeah. extra, but that's the thing. So you, you have all, you know, it's an embarrassment of riches Absolutely. with all this comedy um, from them. So that's the hardest part is, is kind of going, which do we put in and which can't we put in? And that's the challenge. Well, like you guys per like put it perfectly. It was amazing. I really love this film. Um, you guys also answered, you just answered my, like, about the cast, and I'm glad you guys, like, loved working with them together. Um, Alec Baldwin is super talented, oh, yeah. and, like, he had the perfect set for, like, the whole boss baby, the perfect voice. It just all worked together. He was oh. born for this role. There was no other choice but Alec, you yeah. know, even four years ago when we, you know, were working on this movie, before we even asked him. You know, we did a test of a baby and took a line from Alex's 30 Rock character and put it together, and everyone who saw it fell in love with it. And that's what got the movie started. Yeah, and interesting fact, you know, when we started this movie with him, he had one child. Oh, yeah. And over the course of making the film, three and a half years, he had three more. So he wow. took his role very seriously. Method yeah. actor, studies yeah. babies. <laughs> Um, also, um, Tom, I know you're of great, like you're great for voiceovers. So, um, how is it, like, how is it working with the experience that you have? Like, did you help your actors like portray their like, you know what I mean, like with your experience? Well, yeah, I mean, like getting on the other side of the microphone, because you know most people don't know we record all the voices before we even do yeah. any animation, and so just being on that side of the microphone really made me realize what kind of direction is important. Because you have no sets, no costumes. So you've got to get the actors' context. Where are they? There's a million babies running around you. You're in this place called Baby Corps. And I so you set it. the stage for them. Yeah. And so really doing voice work uh, made me a better director because it made me realize what's important, what kind of direction to get. Um, also, like, so you, like, did you miss by any chance like, have not having a voiceover role? I do. I do. I have a little one. <laughs> Paquito. I don't get to do Skipper. Smile and wave, boys. I don't get to do that, but I do a TV chef. Yeah. Uh, so. Oh my God, you did the voice. <laughs> yeah. You remember the TV chef? Yes, I watch it all the time with my brothers. Um, my final question has to be: so recently, there's been a lot of coverage, like on the women's like independence and like like women empowerment. Like, what's your advice for women, like strong women, like that wants to um, pursue a dream into filmmaking and like the entertainment? experience? I would say, you know, you have the world at your fingertips. We're living in an age where you can really, you know, um, you know, get behind your telephone even and make a film. You know, you can, you can, you can cast your friends and make content and share it with the world. Um, you know, I'd say personally, it's like, you know, trust your intuition and, and, and embrace your passions and, and go for it um, because you can. What's exciting for us, too, we've been going to a lot of schools for animation, uh, which used to be a boys' club. And we're seeing like 
turnout from from yeah. from females and girls that want to get into filmmaking. Well, and it's really exciting. It's fantastic. Time. I want to be a filmmaker when I'm older. I want to do anything that has to do with filmmaking or broadcast. I'm still not like I'm still between the two, but like yeah, there's nothing. I mean, there's you you can do. You have so much at your fingertips today compared to like when we were in in college and and I mean literally. I mean there are major motion pictures made on their cell phones now. Yeah. So it's like you know you. You just, there's nothing stopping you to do it, so. Well, thank you so much, guys. I had a blast, and it was nice meeting you once again. So I'm Natalie Daniel reporting for Kids First. DreamWorks, The Boss Baby.